Soil Mechanics and Foundation Engineering Number 1 Question 1. In a liquid limit test, the moisture content at 10 blows was 70% and that at 100 blows was 20%. The liquid limit of the soil is A. 35% B. 50% C. 65% D. None of these. The correct answer is option C. 65%. Question 2. The weight of a pycnometer containing 400 grams sand and water full to the top is 2,150 grams. The weight of pycnometer full of clean water is 1,950 grams. If specific gravity of the soil is 2.5, the water content is A. 5% B. 10% C. 15% D. 20% The correct answer is option D. 20% Question 3. The minimum water content at which the soil just begins to crumble when rolled into threads 3 mm in diameter is known. A. Liquid limit. B. Plastic limit. C. Shrinkage limit. D. Permeability limit. The correct answer is option B. Plastic limit. Question 4. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The rise of the ground surface due to frost action is called frost heave. B. The freezing of water is accompanied by a volume increase of 9%. C. Below freezing point, higher soil suction develops. D. The magnitude of frost heave decreases as the degree of saturation of soil decreases. E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 5. Which one of the following statements is true? A. Clays are more porous than sands. B. Pressure of organic matter in a soil decreases the bearing capacity of the soil. C. Aluminous cement is used for foundations in soils with chemical deposits. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 6. The lateral earth pressure on a retaining wall. A. Is equal to mass of the soil retained. B. Proportional to the depth of the soil. C. Proportional to the square of the depth of the soil. D. Proportional to the internal friction of the soil. E. None of these. The correct answer is option D. Proportional to the internal friction of the soil. Question 7. The internal molecular attraction of a soil, the cohesion. A. Decreases as the moisture content increases. B. Increases as the moisture content decreases. C. Is more in well compacted clays. D. Depends upon the external applied load. The correct answer is option C. Is more in well compacted clays. Question 8. The quantity of seepage of water through soils is proportional to A. Coefficient of permeability of soil. B. Total head loss through the soil. C. Neither A nor B. D. Both and B. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 9. 
when drainage is permitted under initially applied normal stress only and full primarily consolidation is allowed to take place, the test is known as A. Quick test B. Drained test C. Consolidated undrained test D. None of these The correct answer is option C. Consolidated undrained test. Question 10. The minimum water content at which the soil retains its liquid state and also possesses a small shearing strength against flowing, is known. A. Liquid limit. B. Plastic limit. C. Shrinkage limit. D. Permeability limit. The correct answer is option A. Liquid limit. Question 11. Minimum size of the particles of silt soil is A. 0.002 mm B. 0.04 mm C. 0.06 mm D. 0.08 mm E. 1 mm The correct answer is option A. 0.002 mm. Question 12. The maximum value of effective stress in the past divided by the present value is defined as over consolidation ratio OCR. The OCR of an over consolidated clay is A. Less than 1. B. 1. C. More than 1. D. None of these. The correct answer is option D. 20%. Question 13. Pick up the clay soil group which does not swell when wet from the following. A. Kaolinite group. B. Mite group. C. Vermiculite group. D. Montrerillonite group. The correct answer is option B. Mite group. Question 14. The liquidity index is defined as a ratio expressed as percentage of A. Plastic limit minus the natural water content to its plasticity index B. Natural water content minus its plastic limit to its plasticity index C. Natural water content plus its plastic limit to its plasticity index D. Liquid limit minus the natural water content to the plasticity index. The correct answer is option B. Natural water content minus its plastic limit to its plasticity index. Question 15. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. Failure plane carries maximum shear stress B. Failure plane does not carry maximum shear stress C. Failure plane carries shear stress equal to maximum shear stress D. None of these. The correct answer is option B. Failure plane does not carry maximum shear stress. Question 16. Failure of the stability of slopes generally occurs along A. Slip plane B. A horizontal surface C. A curved surface D. All the surfaces The correct answer is option C. A curved surface Question 17. Factor of safety against sliding of a slope is the ratio of A. Actual cohesion to that required to maintain stability of slope B. 
Sheer strength to sheer stress along the surface C. Neither an or BD. Both and B. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 18. The ratio of the volume of voids to the volume of soil solids in a given soil mass is known. A. Porosity. B. Specific gravity. C. Void ratio. D. Water content. The correct answer is option C. Void ratio. Question 19. A compacted soil sample using 10% moisture content has a weight of 200 grams and mass unit weight of 2.0 grams slash cm3. If the specific gravity of soil particles and water are 2.7 and 1.0, the degree of saturation of the soil is A. 11.1% B. 55.6% C. 69.6% D. None of these. The correct answer is option B. 55.6% Question 20. A partially saturated sample of soil has a unit weight of 2.0 grams slash cm3 and specific gravity of soil particles is 2.6. If the moisture content in this oil is 20%, the degree of saturation is A. 20% B. 77% C. 92% D. None of these. The correct answer is option C. 92%. Question 21. The clay soil mainly consists of A. Kaolinites B. Montemarillonite C. Elites D. Vermiculite E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 22. According to Coulomb's wedge theory, the active earth pressure slides the wedge A. Down and outwards on a slip surface. B. Up and inwards on a slip surface. C. Horizontal upward and parallel to base. D. Horizontal inward and parallel to base. The correct answer is option A. Down and outwards on a slip surface. Question 23. The effective size of particles of soil is denoted by A. D10 B. D20 C. D30 D. D60 The correct answer is option A. D10. Question 24. A coarse grain soil has a voids ratio 0.75, and specific gravity as 2.75. The critical gradient at which quicksand condition occurs, is A. 0.25 B. 0.50 C. 0.75 D. 1.00 The correct answer is option D. 1.00 Question 25. Degree of saturation of a natural soil deposit having water content 15%, specific gravity 2.50 and void ratio 0.5, is a. 50% B. 60% C. 75%
D. 80%. The correct answer is option C. 65%. Question 26. The coefficient of compressibility of soil is the ratio of A. Stress to strain B. Strain to stress C. Stress to settlement D. Rate of loading to the of settlement The correct answer is option C. A curved surface. Question 27. If the failure of a finite slope occurs through the toe, it is known as A. Slope failure B. Face failure C. Base failure D. Toe failure The correct answer is option A. D10. Question 28. Rankine's theory of active earth pressure assumes A. Soil mass is homogeneous, dry and cohesionless B. Ground surface is a plane which may be horizontal or inclined C. Back of the wall is vertical and smooth D. Wall yields about the base E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 29. The water content of soil is defined as the ratio of A. Volume of water to volume of given soil. B. Volume of water to volume of voids in soil. C. Weight of water to weight of air in voids. D. Weight of water to weight of solids of given mass of soil. The correct answer is option D. Weight of water to weight of solids of given mass of soil. Question 30. Accurate determination of water content is made by A. Calcium carbide method B. Sand bath method C. Alcohol method D. Oven drying method The correct answer is option D. Oven drying method. Question 31. Stoat's law states that the velocity at which a grain settles out of suspension, the other factors remaining constant, is dependent upon A. Shape of grain B. Weight of grain C. Size of grain D. Shape and size of grain E. Shape, size and weight of grain The correct answer is option B. 55.6% Question 32. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. When water table is above the base of a footing, the dry weight M should be used for soil below water table B. When water table is located somewhat below the base of a footing, the elastic wedge is partly of moist soil and partly of submerged soil and a suitable reduction factor is used C. When water table is just at the base of the footing, no reduction factor is used D. None of these. The correct answer is option B. When water table is located somewhat below the base of a footing, the elastic wedge is partly of moist soil and partly of submerged soil and a suitable reduction factor is used. Question 33. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. In soils, the flow index indicates variation in shear strength with water content B. Liquid limit minus plastic limit is known as plasticity index of the soil C. Plastic limit minus shrinkage limit is known as shrinkage index of the soil D. 
the ratio of the plasticity index to the flow limit, is known as toughness index of the soil E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 34. The liquid limit and plastic limit exist in A. Sandy soils B. Silty soils C. Gravel soils D. Clay soils The correct answer is option D. Clay soils. Question 35. The fluid generally used for grouting is A. Cement and water mix. B. Clay suspension. C. Sodium silicate. D. Bitumen emulsion. E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 36. Backfill with a sloping surface exerts a total active pressure power on the wall of height H and acts at A. H slash 4 above the base parallel to base. B. H slash 2 above the base parallel to base. C. H slash 3 above the base parallel to base. D. H slash 5 above the base parallel to base. The correct answer is option C. H slash 3 above the base parallel to base. Question 37. The ratio of the weight of given volume of soil solids to the weight of an equal volume of distilled water at the given temperature is known. A. Porosity. B. Specific gravity. C. Void ratio. D. Water content. The correct answer is option B. Specific gravity. Question 38. The ultimate settlement of a soil is directly proportional to a. Depth of the compressible soil strata. B. Compressive index. C. Void ratio. D. Both and B. E. None of these. The correct answer is option D. Clay soils. Question 39. The seepage force in a soil is A. Perpendicular to the equipotential lines B. Proportional to the exit gradient C. Proportional to the head loss D. All the above The correct answer is option D. All the above Question 40. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. Sandy clay loam contains highest percentage of sand B. Silty clay loam contains highest percentage of silt C. Stiff boulder clay offers maximum shear strength D. Soft chalk carries least safe flow D. All the above. The correct answer is option B. Silty clay loam contains highest percentage of silt.